uh, this this person who asked the question said, I recently found out I'm pregnant and I want to see if I can expedite my case so that the, my fiance can be there for the birth of our first child. Would this qualify for an expedite request? Um, this just really touches my heart, this question, like as a mother, you know, as a spouse of an immigrant, which I am, which is how I got to be an immigration lawyer to begin with. Um, there are just so many important moments in life that that immigration can impact. And it just really, it just, it just really kind of is like, ouch, you can just feel that right there. And I, I really feel for you um, in this situation. Unfortunately, the, the immigration system is so cold hearted. I can't even describe the stuff that I see them do on a daily basis. And they're very, very used to separating families um, for lots of different reasons. So this really is not something that would be able to get an expedite. Um, the only way that I could see making an expedite request in a case like this would be if you had an extremely risky pregnancy, which I'm hoping you don't, and doesn't sound like you have any indications of risk factors or things like that, where you felt like your life was at risk or you were um, bedridden and needed their support to kind of care for you during that time. I, I could I could see trying an expedite request if it were something uh, a little bit more life or death actually. And I'm super glad if you are not in that kind of situation. Um, but just for generally for the birth of a child, unfortunately, no, I don't think that's going to be enough to expedite it. Um, I have tried a lot of expedite requests over my career and so have the other lawyers on our team. And so we've unfortunately found that they pretty much don't take anything except life or death situations. Um, and even then, sometimes they turn them down and you're like, you got to be kidding me. Um, or if people are going to age out, those are really the, the, the two ways we get expedite requests uh, for interviews at, at uh, embassies. So... Yes, I'm really sorry to to have to give you that news, but I think it's important that you know the truth about the immigration system. We're super, it's super important in our philosophy at our firm to be transparent with people and to tell you straight, you know, what what really the situation in the law is so that you can plan around that and maybe try to arrange a travel or decide where you want to give birth, knowing that, you know, likely the immigration process is going to take the normal uh, time frame and there's no way to expedite it, unfortunately. Um, that being said, Congratulations on the birth of your first child. I mean, it's awesome. And I'm happy that you're in progress so that you can, you know, with your case so that you guys don't have to spend the rest of your, you know, your family will be able to be together once you get through the case. But ah, no expedite. It just kills me. I don't know. Someday I want to be in charge of the immigration system so that I can make the rules how I think they should be. 